The Bengals got good news on Tuesday as Lou Anarumo will be back next season as defensive coordinator of your Cincinnati Bengals. Let's discuss his impact and talk about this coaching staff, which is now one of the best in the NFL. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and smile. Because Zach Taylor's coaching staff, well, it looks like it's going to be intact going into the 2023 campaign. At least from a coordinator standpoint, it will be intact. As Lou Anarumo, well, he's going to be back as defensive coordinator of your Cincinnati Bengals. He was one of two finalists for the Arizona Cardinals head coaching job, a search that took 36 days, a job in which... To be quite honest, I'm not envy of, I don't envy anyone that was going to end up taking that job. And it ended up going to Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles, which good for Jonathan. He talked with them after the Super Bowl on Sun or on, on Monday, rather, stayed in Arizona to talk with the Cardinals. They finalized things today on Tuesday. That said, Lou Anarumo coming back, what does it mean? Well, it means that a defense that's going to miss some pieces, that is going to lose some guys this offseason, whether it's Jesse Bates, seems like a foregone conclusion, might be Jermaine Pratt, other guys, you know, whether it's maybe Von Bell, maybe it's Eli Apple, maybe both of those guys come back, by the way. And we've done our free agency previews and on both of those guys, Von Bell and Eli Apple. But getting in a rumo back is huge. It's huge because no one knows this defense like him. He's helped construct it, build it, and obviously he's had a ton of success against high-end quarterbacks. And that's the part of this that you really like. Obviously, Lou's crew has been consistent, and they've been able to, week in and week out, kind of stabilize and calm the waters, like I said, uh, a lot during the postseason and during their 10-game winning streak. But to me, there aren't many defensive coordinators that you feel good about slowing down Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. That includes Jonathan Gannon, which we saw in Super Bowl 57. You trust that Anarumo can dial up the right things to slow down that, that juggernaut of an offense. You trust that he's going to be able to dial up a few things to slow down Josh Allen, even on the road in the playoffs, or slow down Lamar Jackson in critical moments, or you know stifle Deshaun Watson, who might have more weapons around him next year. The point is, is Lou Anarumo has done it against high-end quarterbacks, and he's back for another season. Huge, huge, huge for the Bengals. It's huge for them, and I, I really think that you look at this coaching staff now, Brian Callahan, I think it's a matter of when, not if, he gets an NFL head coaching job. It's not this offseason. Wouldn't be shocked if a year from now he's a head coach in this league. Lou Anarumo feels like it's a matter of when, not if, especially if he has just as much success with the Bengals' defense in 2023 that he's had over the past couple of seasons. And you get my point. There's been so much interest in this Bengals coaching staff outside of the organization. Troy Walters interviewed for the Texans offensive coordinator job. We'll see if he's back. It feels like it, though, because the Texans hired their offensive coordinator. We'll see if anyone reaches out to him about potentially going from wide receivers coach to OC in one of these other you know positions as a couple head coaching jobs just got finalized in recent days. But it seems like everybody's going to be back. Dan Pitcher expected to be back now after turning down um, the, the Tampa Bay Bucks job, but but with all uh, the the speculation around that, feels like that this coaching staff is going to be back. And if that's the case, just say it out loud. Say what you're what, what it is out loud. Well, Zach Taylor, Lou Anarumo, Brian Callahan, Dan Pitcher, they've all gotten better every single year they've been here. They were better this year as coaches than they were during the Super Bowl run. They were better that year during the Super Bowl run than they were the year prior. And obviously their first season, they had a lot of growing to do. And they've gotten better, 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 better every single year. Well, now you look up, and I, I really think you can make the argument that it's one of the best staffs, top to bottom in the NFL, with a ton of experience, a ton of big game experience suddenly, a lot of winning over the past two seasons. They've experienced it. They've had to go on the road. They've dealt with plenty of adversity. They've gone through the fires and, and all of the things, injuries and different things that they've had to overcome, and they've done it. And so... For a team now that could miss a couple of pieces, they're going to add pieces too. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it. But the team's going to look a little different next year. To have all of your guys back, all of your coaches, and 
certainly all three coordinators, your head coach, to have stability there for a fifth straight season is just absolutely bonkers. And yet here they are. After all the success they've had, and I keep struggling to say that word, after all the success they've had in, in the past two seasons, they're back. And they're as motivated as ever because both of those guys, by the way, this close to getting head coaching jobs. So go get a ring and get a head coaching job, right? That's, that's the, the motivation as much as anything. So I, 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 think, uh, I think if you're a Bengals fan today, you should be smiling. It's a big win uh, of the offseason. It's really their third win. The fact that you, you found out about Brian Callahan, what was it, on Friday, that, that he was going to, to stick around. He was no longer in contention for the Colts head coaching job went to the Eagles offensive coordinator, and then you hear about Dan Pitcher over the weekend, and then today you hear that the Eagles defensive coordinator, so the Eagles losing both coordinators, get head coaching jobs. Meanwhile, the Bengals keep their coordinators. It's a huge win. So smile, buckle up. We're going to have a ton of offseason coverage for you, working on some guests this week, Bengals on the Brain, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. If it's after Tuesday, well, That shows up with Joe Goodberry. That's up, and uh, we're going to have a ton for you. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and smile, because Lou, well, he is back for 2023. For Andrew Fox Miller, our channel coordinator, I'm James Rapine, signing off for now on CBT, Cincinnati Bengals Talk.